Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to a late night live stream of, it's basically kind of a man cave Tuesday, tease them Tuesday type stuff, man. My name is Marine X, give me a Lima Charlie if you can hear me loud and clear. This is a live recording, guys, live recording, We're probably going to keep this live stream live because I found some more Amazon Prime Day deals. Some of them have already freaking purchased because, you know, I got to make sure I, th that the home front is A-OK. -okay. So, you know, give me the goddamn confirmation that you guys can hear loud and clear and all of that good stuff. I, I appreciate folks stopping by, making that stuff happen and all of that good stuff. I just kind of sitting around, kind of shooting the shit, just having a good time. I found some deals earlier. And as I continue to kit stuff out, I realized, hey, there's even more. There's more stuff that I know for a fact that I want. I, I, I There's more stuff I know for a fact that I'm going to end up snatching up. So... I might as well share it with the peasants and I being the peasant in chief, we can make that stuff happen as well. We're going to either we're going to do one of two things with this, guys. We're going to keep this either live for everyone to see or we'll make it members only. That way, between tonight and when I drop this video tomorrow afternoon, members will be able to see these deals all that they want. I, you know, I got to put on my thinking cap. You know, since see, see which one makes more sense. Hopefully everybody had a good goddamn day as well. Make sure that you put what you actually carried as well, because I wouldn't mind knowing that as well. I guess we'll talk about what I carried. I did carry the TRM shadow. We talked about this before, man. The nice shadow look to it. The, the show side is black. The other side is all green. Very lovely. Freaking American made 20 CV, CPM 20 CV. Still on there has their their version of you know now now the patent is gone on the axis lock and that that everybody's coming out with different versions of well made you know of that lock whether some of them are doing it pretty crappy some of them are doing it kind of good etc etc. Also in the pocket is the Wubin. What is this specifically? This is called the E19. This is just a little pin light, just something really like easy going, something I could stick in the pocket. And I didn't have to worry, but it can disappear in the pocket. It feels like a pen. It has low lumens. It, it runs off, I think, double A's. Let me see. Check this shit out real quick. Uh, yeah, it runs off triple A's. So two triple A's. Nice low lumen mode. Real good creeper status mode. I like that type of stuff as well. So that makes stuff very, very nice. So really just a chill type mode. I also carried the Axwell wallet, which is already put in my EDC tray. Use 20% off. Uh, if you use Mantuary 20, you get 20% off my entire website through today. So you might want to jump on that type of stuff as well. And just all sorts of kind of like tidbits and knickknacks and paddy wax and all of that good stuff as well. Before I jump into all the good stuff, this, the, the deals, let's get some more time for more folks to get up in here, man. Let's just see who is already in the goddamn building, who's already kicked the door in and made that good stuff happen as well. Julio is here. What up, man? Thanks for stopping by. Let me move this up a little bit so I can see a little bit better. Hopefully y'all had good days today and everything went well. You had a good time. Tater Don, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being a goddamn member. I'm not in my normal setup, so I can't push the goddamn button. I need to add it to this desk. Shame on me shame on me make sure you hit that goddamn like button as well man put me on the algorithm so we can talk about these deals we're gonna jump in these in here in a second uh site k78 is here as well what up man he's saying what up x i appreciate you stopping by semper five broke his camera he says he needs a new body you know i'm all about that goddamn sony son i'm on a goddamn sony fx3 right now b cam on sony fx30 i didn't come around here with that goddamn sauce i, I can't even give you a recommendation i can't even give you the recommendation because i don't know because I, I, you know, I don't even know. Callie Hiker is here as well saying, yo, 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 thank you for kicking the goddamn door in. Barbarian Brawny, what up, man? Seeing you the other day on the live stream, I was creeping. You know what I'm saying? You was going through different lists. You know, I could tell you've been hitting that goddamn gym, sir. You're looking all goddamn icy paws. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you're doing well up there in goddamn Minnesota. Callie Hiker says, uh, Blade Show West in three days. Folks are ready and excited for that type of shit, man. I'm going to be pumping out content. You know, for us... Unless we got a gang of folks that are going to be helping uh, Danny, Lene, or Mrs. X, as colloquially she is called. They're going to help out with these goddamn five kids. Then I am sticking here, you know? It'd be like that sometimes, though. It do be like that sometimes, man. So, let's see. Drift is here as well. Says, looking at knives. <laughs> Bam, the stream. Look at that, man. Won't he do it? 
Won't he do it, so it says the old lady in the black dress in the corner that can't hear so well. I appreciate you stopping by as well. EDC Explained is in the goddamn building. It says, even as a member, I would say keep it public. Sir, you got a good goddamn head on your shoulders. If I was at my normal setup, I would give you the goddamn clap. But I'm at my desk. Things are a little different around here. All right, let's jump into these deals, man, because there's quite a few of them. And some of these are just some, like, bangers that I thought was super fantastic. First off, knock around sunglass. I knock around as a brand, right? So they are super smart. They're similar to like, um, you know, it's similar to the same concept of you say shop back. Shop back is a brand. The thing is called a wet dry back. You know, knock around as a brand. But whenever I think of sunglasses that I can put inside of a bag and they can get quote unquote knocked around, I think about knock around. There are a lot of other brands that make polarized, plasticky, or, you know, type of sunglasses that you can throw in a bag and they're going to have great uv protection but these are my go-to brand i'm a big fan fan of this this is 25 percent off this is technically not a big uh big day deal i wanted to start off with this because i have not seen this 25 percent off in a while the reason they're doing this is because they're doing the same sale on their website they send me an email they say hey x can we see you some glasses will you make us some content i was like oh you gotta fucking pay me course you know people aren't aren't the biggest fan of hearing that but i did see the discount i said oh, that's phenomenal so 25 percent off is going to take that below 30 bucks which is normally always 35 dollars consistently 35 dollars let's check the price and look at this the pricing consistently since july I, I probably can go back even further and the price will stay the same thing as well now jumping into the actual prime big deals the first one that i saw here some folks like writing with ballpoint Everybody's not gel or fountain pen or mechanical pencils or whatever. Some folks like the traditional feel of a ballpoint. Folks that aren't, you know, are heavy in the game is a, is a Parker Jotter. This is a stainless steel pen and it's a fantastic pen. I'm not going to lie to you. This is the type of pen that if it grows legs, you won't be entirely too upset. Normally $20, this thing is brought down to $10.12. I think that's a pretty good deal. If I were you guys, this is just a little hack. Anytime you see these little subscribe and saves, you can get this thing for $9.61. And then just in a couple days, decide, you know what? I want to cancel that subscription. That's a little hack I use for diapers and formula and stuff like that. So you can do that as well. But this is a really good pen. And that way you're not spending the tremendous amount of money on the bigger pens that we use. Like this something. Here I have my, this is my tactile turn. This is my tactile turn. I think this is the Dark Matters pen. This is a $200 pen, writes like goddamn butter. This is literally sitting on my coffee mess where I take notes about espresso. Okay, you don't need to spend that type of money on a pen. It just looks nice and writes well. You can grab this and save yourself quite a bit of money. Listen, my Columbia walking shoes, they're not boots. I have some Columbia walking shoes or I have damn near wore a hole of them. I do a lot of rucking, guys. And my shoes, you know, you know, I talk about a lot about survival. And I think that if you're going to start to put survival type of items in your vehicle, I really want you to put some type of shoes or boots in your vehicle that are going to be prepared for any type of walk home. I'm always putting content about there out there about bug out bags, get home bags, you know, urban assault kits, whatever you want to call them. But if you're walking around in flops, hey, mom, I wanted to get my flops. Got my flops, mom. These should be in your vehicle, always ready to rock and roll. Columbia Man's Newton Ridge Plus. I'm going to buy these. $59.99. Let's call it $60. Bucks. Normally, they're $100 consistently. I have not seen them this price. I normally buy Columbia shoes at shopmyexchange.com, which is the base website, or I buy directly on Columbia's website because they offer veteran discounts. This is beating both of them. This is beating both of them. Links in the description for anything that I'm talking about, guys. You should be able to click that. You can, you know, check it out during the live stream, after the live stream. It doesn't matter. All of it should be right there. But if you don't have a pair of mechanics wear gloves, and I'm talking about the name brand, okay? None of the knockoffs. I know we can get some stuff from Home Depot, even though Home Depot sells mechanics wear. So does Lowe's. So does Northern Tool, right? I, I know that 
we can find some similar type of items in those places but it's just something about actually putting on mechanics wear gloves whether you're working on a vehicle you're using them for a kit whether it's a tactical kit or if you're just using them to do whatever you might need to do around the house having these at twelve dollars and 39 cents now the list price is 27.99 you're a plum idiot if you spend 29.99 on these goddamn gloves okay let's just keep it real but they normally do surface around 1999 at least when i check these out at twelve dollars and 39 cents buy it now price the largest seems to be that price i don't know if any other sizes sometimes they do they get really weird with sizing okay look at this if you want a small it's even cheaper so a lot of times these these deals di differentiate depending on the sizing the color will also make the pricing change as well play around with this look at this if you get it in green the price goes up my recommendation just stick with the goddamn black you know what i'm saying and just make those things happen survival type items survival type items you can use that mechanics wear glove set that i just talked about put that in your survival bag you can use that if you're breaching a door listen i'm always thinking about worst case scenario okay whether that is stuff like you know if you're getting home if an emp were to strike your area civil unrest whatever I'm th i think about that shit silcock keys all that type of shit it may not happen but it might fucking happen it happened here in the dallas metroplex six years ago when there was a a shooter in the downtown dallas area with an ar putting down bodies he shot five of those in blue and it was a freaking disgusting act but you know who else was around there people at nightclubs workers that were unloading trucks you got to have different stuff to have survival type stuff now this is a live straw personal water filtration system i'm not a big fan of these because you have to put your face to the water source so you know i prefer to not necessarily you know putting my face towards the water source and that type of, I, I i would much rather bring the water source up to my mouth so if you can find a different type of look right if you can find a different type of look for these live straws, see if live straws having to sell on the other packs where you can store the system. But in a pinch, you can stick these in a bag, bring yourself directly to a water source, drink, keep yourself hydrated. Just try not to splurge. Maybe you only drink maybe four or six ounces and keep it moving. Thirty five dollars for a three pack is pretty good. Has it been this low of a price in over 30 days and over one hundred and ten thousand reviews at four point eight stars? Yeah, the shit is probably a good good to go product. OK. This is one thing where I wouldn't get an off brand. This is something where you're putting stuff directly in your body. I would recommend going with name brand type stuff. Name brand type stuff that you may or may not want to go with is the O knife. O knife is OEM by Kaiser. OK, somebody in chat may know exactly which one this is modeled after. But Kaiser at this moment is the OEM for O knife and O knife is a sister company of O oh lights they're coming out the name is a little weird a little sketchy doesn't roll off the tongue like i needed to but an oh knife century just brings me back to my days in the marine corps when you're a century you got to know all the goddamn rules whenever you're guarding your posts 50 55 dollars let's call it 56 dollars normally 69.99 this is 20 percent off you know the thing about this g10 scales i am a big fan of g10 scales i even have some here these are like these g10 scales on this trm these are g10 but they're milled and they're super custom and all that type of shit and even the blade that is similar to the blade that we're looking at for the o knife but this is a 279 dollars knife if you can find yourself something similar to that for 56 bucks why not go for it now this is a budget still at 14 c 28 in but one thing i will tell you about this it doesn't have the corrosion resistance as the this blade still that i have in my pocket but what it does have is the ease of sharpening with this plain edge and a, a basically a wonderful looking grind you should be able to sharpen this if you have a decent if you're able to bake in lettuce and tomatoes follow some instructions on uh, youtube university you should be able to sharpen this pretty easily i would roll the dice on o um o knife because they are improving their warranties they now have a limited lifetime warranty they warranty the knife not the human so if you buy it and give it to your your kiddo and o knife stays in business for 30 years something happens to the knife when it comes to the manufacturing not your kid being a nick and poop they will warranty it out okay so maybe roll the dice on that it does have a good shape to use it like a camp or something like that now travel on travel on is a weird it's a, it's a it's a weird type of company in my opinion because they they focus heavily on those that are traveling but they also have some stuff that i think could work in your edc type of experience this 
Travelon World Accessories Essential Tech Organizer is significantly cheaper than my Barrel Ray Tech Kit. I mean significantly cheaper than my Barrel Ray Tech Kit. This is my Barrel Ray Tech Kit. The, what I'm showing you on the screen here in a second is bigger than this kit. This costs $55. And other than having the Barrel Ray name and some premium ass zippers, there's nothing super special about it. It just literally holds my tech, okay? Mouse and cables and a small flashlight, all of that type of stuff. That's what the job of this thing is for. Spend $14, get the same job, and this is gonna work better in a bag because it's the, um, the outside material being made of polyester. You're gonna be able to stick this in a bag. It's kind of gonna slip its way exactly where you want it inside those bags. I'm a big fan of that. At $14, I would say pick this up. It's normally 20 bucks. You're saving 30% off. I did check this out. It does normally ride around 20 bucks. Okay. 477 reviews of 4.6 stars leads me to believe that this might be something that's worth it. Okay. You might want to roll the dice on that. Something else will be worth it is the VAR Field Tactical Watch. I'm wearing a VAR right goddamn now. Let me take this shit off. Let me take, let me take it off. I love my VAR watch. I love field watches in general because they can, they can become so handy when you need them to, okay? So my VAR watch, I like field watches because first off, the tritium in the lumen side can last at least 20 years, unless, especially if you get a really good field watch. So this is what you call the lumen side. These are tritium, to, uh, tritium inside the watch would, would illuminate and you can use this. It should last for literally at least 20 years. This works when I'm walking through the house like a creeper, I can still see the time. When I'm walking through my hunting property, I can still see the time. A field watch is also handy because the, it is uh, water resistant. They have an incredible warranty, basically a two year waterproof warranty. You get water in this thing, whether you're in the rain, you wear it swimming, they warranty it out. It's a quartz, uh, quartz movement mechanism, meaning there is no battery. You put it on, you start moving, the thing begins to work. I like that a lot. Now I have the, a couple of their competitors, the Ben Roos. It costs five times this amount and the quartz mechanism is nowhere. The quartz movement is nowhere near as good as this one. I prefer a smaller case. Okay. I have a 36 millimeter case. You may want to get yourself a 40 millimeter case. Either one is smoking hot, $143. You can take these apart. There's a lot of videos to talk about field watches as well for their utilitarian uses. You can take these apart, turn them into a compass. You can take them apart and use them for all sorts of stuff. Field watches were originally issued in World War II to soldiers that were in the trenches, in the field. They eventually got their names updated during the Vietnam War when they were handed out for when we were fighting the Viet Cong. So they have a very long history being issued to the military. They're not issued anymore. Now we just buy the shit on our own, but I still think they look pretty damn sharp so check that out man if you're interested in, in grabbing yourself a nice watch as well now anchor seems to be just blowing their back out when it comes to deals anchor and you green and a lot of these companies small rig a lot of these companies that make battery accessories of course they always jump on the scrotum of these prime day deals it's not it's not new okay but this is some of the biggest price cuts i've seen since the july prime deals and of course amazon you know they, they have no act no shame in the game they'll come back and always show you these different deals the anchor magnetic battery five um five thousand milliamp hour magnetic wireless portable trash ass name basically you can stick this on the back of your iphone or if you have some type of case that has a magsafe in it you can use that as well this is a google pixel 7 but this case has a magsafe in it so i can put those type of accessories on my google pixel 7 so that's going to be great for those type of use cases or you could just traditionally use it on your iphone this is an iphone 13. so either one of those use case scenarios you're going to be able to smack this right on the back of that this is bigger than the max safe that apple sells you can also use this to charge other devices because you can plug in on the side right here and you can use this as a stand if you're at a coffee shop drinking your freaking cappuccinos as a peasant as we all like to do over 2700 reviews this thing seems like it's getting a job done at 4.4 stars i would buy this but i'm not gonna fucking buy it because i already got one it's by ugreen not anchor but i'm just saying same same now i earlier in my video if you guys got to check that out i said to go to max level edc 
and check out his content when it comes to multi-tools i'm the, i am not the expert for goddamn multi-tools i'm not even an expert for knives but i can tell you my experience with shit okay but i do own this trash ass multi-tool what i mean by that is when you get a multi-tool that throws in the kitchen sink okay guys let me, let me just keep it real with you you get a multi-tool that throws in and you get a feral rod every tool they can think of it's usually not the best but i will say this this is a good multi-tool to keep in your vehicle and if you rarely use it it's gonna be it's basically be always gonna be ready to rock and roll significantly cheaper than sog significantly cheaper than leatherman 29 dollars let's call it 30 bucks and you're gonna get a hammer here so it has a hammer built in at the very bottom if you close it up who's using it like a hammer i don't know it also has a glass breaker built in as well so if you want to use it to get out of a, a sticky situation it has a pair of scissors which is almost always one of my requirements for a multi-tool has a whistle it has a bunch of you know a lot of stuff in here is like eh, you know maybe not so much but if over 5,000 reviews then i would say this is a capable item i bought this at walmart years ago in older iterations they have since updated it hopefully it's gotten better mine just literally sits in a drawer and wishes i would touch it this looks like they have updated it hopefully they have but i mine hasn't failed me it doesn't get tons of use but at 30 bucks i would definitely roll the dice you can get it in two different colors as well stainless steel or black now this is one of those items where it's a little iffy i don't know how i feel about this man I don't know how I feel about this one. Pop sock, you know, Pop sock is their known, their name brand. They put a lot of different stuff on a lot on the back of phones. Some are magnetic for the MagSafe, some are adhesive, some are screw on, whatever, right? Pop sock is provide additional grip. If you are one of those guys who are part of the toilet squad a cow, or a couch potato, you always got your goddamn phone in your hand, right? It's always glued to your goddamn hand. Then folks do they put stuff like this on the back of their phones. Pop socket is trying to come at the EDC jugular by adding a small SOG multi-tool in there, okay? They partnered with SOG to add a multi-tool to the pop socket. And it looks duck, it doesn't have tons of functionality, okay? It looks like it has a small slotted screwdriver on one side. I don't know how good it is. I mean, like look at it. At four stars, I'm kind of like, eh. You know, it's 4.2 stars. That doesn't make me feel confident. But nine bucks, nine ninety nine. You buy it, it doesn't work. <laughs> Who cares, right? If you're in a pinch and you call, you find yourself throwing back suds all the time in the early morning to the uh, to the late evening, and you always need a bottle opener, then here you go. Grab yourself this pop socket that has a bottle opener built in a hex. I don't know when the hex you would be taking off a boat with this damn hex thing in here. I wish it did have a traditional slotted screwdriver in here, so you can at least try to flatten up some flat heads but it doesn't but you know overall it does look like it can at least get one job done which is opening bottles so 9.99 check that out if you want to grab it and that is a pretty decent savings at 33 percent off mech army makes a lot of weird shit guys mech army makes a lot of weird stuff i like their button compass i like their the compass that they make okay whether it's a button or the kind you can hang from your key. They're very accurate. Uh, comp How do you say plural of compasses? Compass, comp I, whatever. I like the compass that they make. I've never really dabbled in their pins, but the Mech Army TPX8 Mini Titanium Brass Boat Action Pin. It's a keychain tactical pin. It's a horrible name, but at four, $52, that is a 20% savings. Biggest price difference I've seen in quite a while. I've been following this item for a while because I am interested in picking it picking it up in copper you can get it in copper you can get it in titanium or you can get it in brass for that ass whichever one works for you you can pick it up at a pretty good discount now what are the refills on this thing i don't know it says it's using a german lammy m22 refill i don't have a lot of experience with that hopefully it can take some of its competitors refills because i'm pretty used to using you know other refills type of items but I still think it's pretty sharp looking. It's pretty small. Look at this guy's hand. It's fitting within all four of his fingers, right? So, you know, if you're willing to give it a go, I wouldn't mind grabbing it in copper, getting that good patina action, just getting all excited over that type of shit. That's how I like to roll, but it's really up to you. And then we kind of look at the Dango. Now, the Dango is the wallet that I started off for the fall carrying and dango guys so first off this is the dango m1 maverick wallet this thing has a lot of functionality to it okay first off it's made of aluminium it's cnc machine aluminium it's really hard and rigid oh giggity 
it has a little multi tool built in here with a little pry tool and a a uh, a a slotted screwdriver and then inside it has this bigger multi tool which you can use all sorts of functionality for the thing about this is it is hard to remember what all this functionality is for and it's i i carried it for two weeks okay not one time did i pull out this multi-tool first off it has so many uses i think you're gonna forget how to use this shit. it has a saw it has a, a pry bar and a slotted screwdriver and a seat belt cutter and a bottle opener and all it has all sorts of shit, okay but i will say this the leather on this thing is raw hide the uh, aluminum feels premium you can tell that they take a lot of care and dango makes some fantastic products and at $90, this is a good savings. This thing is the lowest price has been in 30 days. It's normally around 99 bucks. The list price is 129. I don't know who's paying the list price. It no, normally does hover around 99 bucks. So you're really only saving 10%, but they make you feel like you're saving 30 the way they list it. But if you've been interested in any of the Dango products, not just this wallet, Dango seems to be selling a lot of their stuff at a discount for the Prime Big Day deal. Check it out with the link in the description as well. Now, MagSafe accessories. We talked about the Anchor one earlier. We got us round the wagon to one of my favorite companies, which is Pelican. They don't make everything here in the States. I think they're out of Oregon. They don't make everything here in the States. You know, they are shipping stuff, some stuff out of Taiwan and China. But this is one of those items that i think that they've made quite a few improvements where i would be willing to roll the dice to see how well it functions iphone 12 when they were initially making this there was tons of complaints don't let the 4.1 stars fool you they've updated this i went on their website stronger magnet is, is supposed to hold on to your phone better if you don't like a wallet in your pocket you don't mind this is being connected to your phone you can have this snap on heavy duty MagSafe wallet, which is pretty water resistant from the testing I've seen on YouTube University. Keep a little cash in there. Keep about five cards inside of that thing. It's going to work with iPhone 12 or newer and you should be good to go. But I would say this. Check out some videos before you dive all the way in. Normally $39.99. Let's call it $31 now. 22% off. That's a decent saving. And it does come in in different colors. If it were I and I was buying this shit, which I'm not going to, I would get it in green because green girl's grandpa excited. But it's up to you guys for whichever one works. I said Mech Army makes some weird shit, did I not? I did say that Mech Army makes some weird shit, did I not? This is one of those weird items that they make as well. The Mech Army, this is a titanium, so it's going to be nice and lightweight and ready to remove goddamn earwax from your filthy ears for the peasant level earwax removal tools. Hey, listen, if you just feel the need to keep an earwax removal tool on your keychain at all times, this is going to make your goddamn day, okay? Now, let's just keep it real. I do keep some hygiene products with me when i'm going to be sitting around bored for a while if i'm going to a soccer game i'm going to my daughter's cheerleading if i'm going wherever i'll bring nail clippers with me okay i gotta cut one of my kids nails and whatever okay do my own i never thought about bringing an earwax tool with me but hey you know what 16 dollars 72 if you're just a super hygienic type of person you can have a unique talking tool clean it up pretty easy because it is made of titanium you should be able to get that stuff out of there really easy the orange one is the one that's discounted if you want the one that's all titanium looking then that is a discount but the discount that the price point is starts higher on that because it has more titanium so i would just recommend if you're going to get this shit you know you might as well go all out and get the titanium instead of getting a, a, a titanium mixed with g10 you might as well just go fully balls to the walls so i appreciate that man absolutely appreciate that so what do you guys think about some of this trash that we have you know that we have found for some of these deals whether the stuff that we found earlier today or the stuff that we're talking about right now what did you carry in your pockets today let me know what you guys think of some of this stuff what type of deals are you finding as well super curious about that stuff q cola in front of your stuff will catch my attention a q cola in front of your stuff will catch my attention and all of that good stuff from Arachi o, uh, o, uh, o R J and a ace, ace beam listen the ace beam flashlights i got one i got the double a style of it and yeah i don't know how i feel about the ace beam man i think you have the ace beam h 8818 that one might be significantly better than the one that i decided to spend my money on because it wasn't very impressive okay 
and it didn't really get Grandpa excited. He carried the Civivi Backlash, the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros, the Aviator Sunglasses, and my the Boomstick with the P320, and all and it had your wife all bricked up. Sorry, you already know what the goddamn deal is. We know how that goes. Uh, Semper Fi says I got a 2K Lumen flashlight. Really? Who's the brand? Who who uh, hooked you up? Um, so we also have Victor says, are you generating this list? I made it. I compiled all this shit. The one earlier, the one now, this is the type of stuff that I'm interested in. There's tech stuff I saw today. There's more clothing items, but I'm not going to talk about any of that shit. I don't need any. My text is okay for now. You know, there's other channels that can present you with some tech information. I'm, I'm here to give you the bee's knees when it comes to EDC survival and man cave type shit. Okay. Earlier, I even talked about uh, live stream sponsor Tisfa and all their stuff. Their stuff is also on sale as well. Link should be in the description for anything I use for my cigar products. They're live stream sponsor for my cigar content. And uh, let's see. Wait, I got to grab them boots hard as hell to find some good boots in your size. Yeah. If you see those boots, you see that pricing, you see that there's a deal that you might want to grab. I mean, they do have it. Let me see. Do they have a size 14? Let's check it out. So... They do have a size 14, but it's not on sale. So you have to be cautious with these type of sales. They are normally selling. They, they normally would participate. So I would get a size 11. So they normally would participate with sizing for the specific sale item. So go here. See if your size is on that sale item. Hopefully it is. I would be SOL. Let me see. Could I squeeze into a 10 and a half wide? Is that cheaper? Let me check that out as well. Yep. <laughs> so for me, <laughs> For me, I would buy a 10 and a half wide and just it's because it is for rucking and hiking. I don't care if it's a little bit tighter as well. So I can try to make that work. It just really depends on what you need to do. Mike and Ike's EDC. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being a goddamn member. He says, I've been looking for Amazon deals, but haven't really found any. Yeah, I made a video about it earlier. I know there's a lot of channels that are making some great content when it comes to some of these deals for EDC type of stuff, guys. And I, I definitely can recommend you guys if you're super interested in being able to find some banger of deals, not just for different type of stuff. I would recommend that you check out, um, you know, for me, EDC type of content. Yeah, obviously you want to head my way. But if you really want to check out some content when it comes to some of these deals for tools and stuff like that, you got to check out the dinner tools, man. He is coming out. He's putting out some banger type products for tools. He just came out with his day one prime summation for Amazon Prime deals already at 12,000 views. He just posted that uh, four hours ago. I'm going to be watching that later on today. I would watch it on stream, but it's freaking 49 minute minute video. I'm going to throw it in chat just in case you guys want to check it out as well, because at the end of the day, these are the type of deals I like to look for. So I know for a fact he has some banger deals that you might want to check out as well. And then for like other type of woodworking deals and stuff as well, I you know, I don't know if you guys are into, uh, into tools and stuff like that, but there are a few other channels that I look for whenever I'm looking for a type of uh, of deals in regards to tools. I'm really big into tools. I'm really big into uh, woodworking type of stuff. So another channel I would recommend that you follow as well is 731 Woodworks. He is a former state trooper turned into a YouTuber, and he is always finding some fucking banger ass deals when it comes to amazon prime day and i'll throw him in the chat as well he has some great deals for woodworking so i kind of got you guys covered for tools and woodworking and all sorts of stuff so either way go check these out after the stream because you might find your stuff find some stuff that you're actually interested in if you're trying to expand your tool selection q code in front of your stuff will gain my attention as mentioned before but yeah hopefully mike and i you're able to just find some deals and kind of get that stuff going ronald young jr thanks for stopping by thanks for being a goddamn member coming in from goddamn cleveland ohio sir we appreciate that copying the gloves 100 thanks for the info yeah man i'm telling you i have some off brand now one thing i will say is mechanics wear doesn't really make leather gloves at least not the ones i would like and when i would work or if i'm working on this house i like 100% raw hide high quality leather gloves because I don't a lot of the stuff I'm working with is like tetanus ready I don't need any of that type of stuff creeping through my gloves so I prefer leather gloves for that but other than that right other than that I like to wear mechanics wear man they could just they get it done they're not really good for wind I have I got gloves for everything okay 
I got gloves that I like to wear when it's windy and I and I just want to cut the wind down, but I need to have a lot of dexterity. Me mechanics wear is not your go-to for that, okay? It's not your go-to for that. Probably grab grabbing those gloves as well, says Jesse. That I'm just telling you, man. It's just something that's worth grabbing. EDC explains says, I'll tell you what I carry. I bought a Samsung Odyssey Neo G and I carried it into my house today. <laughs> Sorry, you got a G9. Oh my God. Uh, listen, I'm just saying. And of course, Ian carried that goddamn Zon, sir. We love when you make that thing happen. And of course, we get all icy for that Zon because we like to make it happen. Says, need a deal on a good, some good budget knives. Now, listen, if you're looking for budget knives, go check out my content from earlier. There's not a lot of companies banging out budget knives right now. I will say this that Artisan Cutlery and their sister company, CRJB, they are banging out some knives or on sale right now. But I caution you when buying stuff from Artisan Cutlery. I caution you when buying stuff from Artisan Cutlery because they only have, uh, I think they have a one year warranty. They only warranty the person that bought the knife. It's a really weird warranty, okay? They do have some sales on C uh, CJRB. They do have some sales on CJRB. Another company that's having some sales right now, you may see it in my cart a couple of times as I was going through these pages. Volsteed doesn't have a, they don't have like a straight sale right now. But they do have a discount and i can even throw the discount uh, code in here that it doesn't work for every single knife but if you're interested in checking your stuff out with a boat steed and i'm probably mispronouncing it if i am pound sand boat steed is having a sale but you have to know the discount code the discount code for their sale is boat steed i think it is uh 020 it's either 020 or boat steed 020. i'm going to type both in chat i'll throw those in there if you and when you're checking out on Amazon, make sure uh, whatever knife you're trying it out on for Volt Seed knives, it's going to get you 20 percent off. But it doesn't work for every knife. The reason that uh, the one I'm interested in, it doesn't work on, but it does work on some of their other knives. So make, you know, roll the dice on that. See which one may or may not work for you. Um, and we'll just see if it works out for you. Hopefully it does. But that that's kind of what I saw on knives. A lot of other brands aren't really doing it. So Vivi's not Sin Cut, We Knife. Uh, CRKT had a couple of deals. Benchmade, not so much. They never do that shit. Spider Code, not so much. They had, they have like discounts, as in like the price is lower, but they're not really banging out any prices that I thought was worth including in any of these videos. So it's really going to be up to you guys. I did see this Votes D kitchen knife uh, that I saw. I actually bought this thing. This is a phenomenal deal. Okay, guys, if you are looking for some, I talked about this earlier in my, uh, I talked about this earlier in my, um he says the wood handle for sixty dollars says ian yeah there you go go check it out um this is a great deal i bought this thing when it was around 45 dollars. it's 24.99 if you need a kitchen knife you can get the eight inch knife and you can also get the five inch pairing knife which is kind of big for a, a pairing knife i prefer pairing knives a little bit smaller than that but this is a <laughs> this is a really good deal it has g10 scales this is a talking piece it looks really good it looks really sharp it's some unique shit in your kitchen I would go for it. I would absolutely go for that as well. Hey guys, I appreciate y'all stopping by for another live stream. I just wanted to bang out some of this content in regards to some of these deals. I'm gonna keep going for it. If I see some more deals, I'll bang them out for you tomorrow. We'll see how it goes, man. I'm just trying to grind and make some stuff happen. If this is your first time stopping by, make sure you hit that goddamn subscribe button. We would love to have you a part of the battalion. If you're already subscribed, I'm not talking to you. You've already done it, okay? You've already done what you need to do and I do appreciate that type of stuff. Everyone else, we will speak soon.